We begin a new feature on City News tonight. From time to time, we'll be bringing you a behind-the-scenes perspective on the issues and the personalities that are shaping our society. Today, a look at the most politically charged piece of clothing on Earth. To some, the kneecap is a sign of devotion. To others, it's a sign of oppression. On the debut of our new feature, the inside story, Avery Haynes now unveils one woman's reasons for covering her face from the world. Avery. Thank you, Gord. Well, a lot of people make assumptions when they pass a woman on the street whose face is covered. And tonight, a young university student explains just why she went against her family's wishes to wear the niqab. How does it feel to be almost completely covered except for your eyes and to be bombarded by images of, of nearly naked women? To me, they didn't know what is the beauty of covering yourself. They might not yet understand what is the beauty of preserving your beauty. And I feel so pity to them because they didn't know. You feel pity for the women that you see showing their bodies yes. off when in your mind the beauty is in the covering up. Yes. Noor is a U of T student from Malaysia studying Near and Middle Eastern Civilization and Women's Studies. Before she began covering her face a year and a half ago. Before I'm wearing it I really care what people think about me, but I think that how long I want to be the slave of other people's judgment. I want to be free. And when Noor walks down the street, she knows what you're probably thinking. I do have some dirty look on me, like people staring at you. And there is the one woman that is the experience that I will never forget. And she said, like, Go back to your home, you insulting Canadian. I mean, why do you want to wear it like a ghost? She says you look like a ghost? Something like that. I mean, like, I'm so alien to her. There are people who will look at you and wonder who's forcing you to dress like this, who's forcing you to wear that, that you don't see yourself as a strong enough woman to make your own decisions. <laughs> okay, um, well, one thing about me, no one is forcing me. My mother doesn't like it. She worry about my safety. What if someone just uh, provoke you? What if someone just do bad thing to you because you just wear in your cup? And Noor's father asked me to take it off. He bought like a book just for about the cup to understand what is really mentioned in Quran. And does he understand now? Yes, now he understand and he said to me, "Well, if you want to do it, just do it." Why do you feel the need to cover your face? How does that bring you closer to Allah? How does that make you honor? Your religion. It's just from my little heart that I want to do something that is not required in religion. By wearing a top, I feel like I'm struggling, I'm striving every day, trying to make my intention sincere and pure and only for him, not for humans. Do you feel that you have the same value on this earth as a man? Of course! Who said that I'm not valuable? Maybe in some culture, in some society, they are being forced. I'm not denying that can happen, but that is the sad thing. Will you choose your own husband or will, some, will, your, will your father? Of course I'm going to choose my own husband. I mean, husband is a person that you're going to spend your life with. And to me, um, husband is kind of like um, deciding your... Um, heaven and hell. If you were to become a Canadian citizen, you would be asked to remove it. How do you feel about that? I feel that in certain circumstances, you have to adapt with people because you, you are not living alone. You are living with society. So if I'm in that situation, in that ceremony, I will just take it off. Now, the issue of the niqab is so politically charged that some countries, France and Belgium, have actually banned it. Uh, the Supreme Court of Canada is right now discussing hearing arguments of whether or not to ban them during court cases. This is a complete reversal of the kind of controversy we're used to about the, the niqab, the hijab, and the burqa. 
where women are being told to wear them, uh, but here you have a woman who's wearing it over the objections of her own father. Well, and actually going and suggesting that her dad read a book on trying to understand her decisions on just going back to some of the more traditional aspects of her culture, yeah. which is quick to point out that there are cultures and communities where this does represent oppression. But her philosophy is, her feeling is that when she looks at Western women, that we are more enslaved to sexuality and to that kind of life than she's enslaved by, by wearing the, the niqab. Matter of perspective. That's right. All right, thank you, Avery. We'll look forward to the next one tomorrow night. Watch for Avery Haynes with the inside story again tomorrow here on City News at 6.